Hey everybody. Um, we had a heck of a thunderstorm last night. Let me tell you, it woke me up and uh, the lightning and the rain and just everything. It was awful. It was just so awful. But on top of that, I woke up with a really, really bad sore throat. It could have made me cry. It hurt so bad. And I knew yesterday at work something was up because my throat started burning. But uh, it, it feels a little bit better now than what it did. What do you think about, about the story in the news, the latest uh, from North Carolina? The little girl that's gone missing, Zara Baker. Her stepmother, Alyssa Baker, has been arrested after they uh, discovered that her stepmother is the one who wrote the ransom note on the car. The cadaver dogs found the scent of a body in the family car. Uh, and they're saying now something about a wood chipper. But uh, I, I think her dad works at a place where they use a wood chipper. But so far they've not found the little girl's body, but they are calling it a homicide now. Uh, the stepmother has been arrested on counts of uh, forgery, writing bad checks. Uh, uh, I think now they're holding her because of the, the ransom note. Um, but the thing of it is, now they're saying that um, the woman also has three other children uh, of her own. And now they're saying that she would force her other children to uh, be in wheelchairs and uh, tell everybody that they were sick. And uh, that uh, uh, at one point, she had one of them, she was telling them that they were dying or something, her children. That sounds like uh, Munchausen syndrome. If you, if you don't know what that is, that's when a parent, the majority of the time a mother, will literally make her children real, real sick to where they have to be hospitalized and then uh, j just for the attention, basically. And there's no reasoning behind it. It's called Munchausen syndrome. And that's what it sounds like she was doing to these three children of her own. Uh, <clears throat> they said she abused the stepdaughter, Zara, Zari, or whatever her name is. But uh, then they said, well, why didn't social services get involved? Why didn't somebody do something? People did tell on her. Social services was involved. Social services said the lady that came to the house said she didn't see anything wrong. Well, I think she ought to lose her job. Because... Too often, the social services, are, they're just not doing their job. Just like the case of the other little girl, her name escapes me at this moment, but uh, she was uh, sold to this man by her mother, and that was here in North Carolina too, I believe. And he took the little girl to a, a motel and raped her and killed her. And she had just been returned to the home because she had previously been taken away by social services. I think the judges that say, yes, they are allowed to return to their home, they should lose their jobs, too. But as far as this little girl goes, it's it's not going to turn out good. The, and this girl already had a rotten life to begin with. She uh, had, had a prosthetic leg and had lost her hearing all because of cancer. So she had had a real rough life. Uh, the stepmother supposedly had said that she had saw the little girl sleeping in her bed like 12 hours before. Who's going to let their child sleep in a room for 12 hours without checking on them? You know, that, that's just ridiculous. In my book, that would be like uh, when my kids were little, they go to bed at 9 o'clock at night and then 9 o'clock the next morning and I still don't see them and I still don't think anything about it. No, some, something's up with that. They also said that they cannot account for the last time anybody saw that child, aside from uh, the mother and, I mean, the stepmother and the dad. They said that uh, nobody can remember seeing the child for at least a month before she was reported missing. Uh, she was no longer in school. She was being homeschooled, they said. She could have been dead this whole time. It's just bizarre. The devil is loose in the world. It's going on everywhere. Now it's all these mothers killing their children, stepmothers killing their children. It's crazy and it's scary. I think uh, the uh, from what I understand in the news now, the, the father of little Czar, now he's not been arrested, 
But now they're saying that he has quit cooperating. So, if he's not cooperating, that means he knows a little bit of something that he's just not saying. So, we'll see where it goes from there. And, uh, anyway. Oh, one other thing. Uh, UFOs. Do any of you believe in UFOs? Now, there's a... Uh, uh, reportedly, a lot of people saw a UFO in New York. They're claiming that they saw a UFO in New York. Some of them took pictures of it. It's been on the news. And nobody can tell them what it is. Nobody can explain to them what it is. It was just something with lights on it just sitting there in the air. Now, I had a, a similar situation last Friday. I was taking Stephanie to work. This wasn't even 7 o'clock in the morning. And uh, we were driving down the road. And just right up the street from the house. And, and I kept looking up. And, it, you know, it wasn't an airplane. It was, there was just something silver sitting there in the sky. And it looked like it had two real, real bright headlights. And it was just sitting there. And I'm driving along. And I keep looking up. And I keep looking up. And I said, what the hell is that? Me and her both, you know, said it at the same time. And I pulled over into the turn lane and stopped. And we was sitting there looking at it, and it would move a little bit, and then it would stop again, move a little bit, and stop again. I said, where's the camera when we need one? But somebody had come up behind me to turn, so I had to pull out and leave then. But it was just really weird. And I believe in UFOs, though. I do. I believe in UFOs. I believe in life on other planets. There's too many planets out there. Why are they there? They have to serve some purpose. They are there for a reason. The grass in the yard serves a purpose. The trees serve a purpose. The water serves a purpose. Everything serves a purpose. So I'm sure that uh, when the heavens and the earth were created, that the other planets weren't just thrown out there for decoration. That would be crazy. So I do believe in life on other planets. If there's not any out there now, then there has been. You know, it's just kind of stupid of us to think that we are the only form of intelligent life in the entire universe that's just not right but anyway what do you think do you believe in ufos and uh anyway until next time bye bye